What's up, YouTubulous? EXO coming at you here in the midst of some extreme audio gear, and we're gonna be showing you guys some new stuff today. As you know, we have got two builds going on at the moment. One for the Contralto series whippers from Crescendo Audio, and two with the Alfred Audio Death Bounce 15 <laughs> for the SPL build in the trunk. Now I figured before we get into all the craziness of unboxing each one of these subwoofers, we could show off a little bit of the speakers for the blue car, which are also going to be from Alfred Audio. We've got the Death Bounce and the Hannibal Series speakers and tweeters to go right in our doors. I'm really excited about it, so let's go ahead and show them off. Alrighty, we're here with our trusty Miracle Blade, ready to start slicing and dicing. Now this video is going to be pretty informal, I just wanted to show off the new speakers for the little blue car. And we're going to start out with the 8 inch speakers. These are the dbm 80s straight from the Death Bounce line. And they are already looking mighty tasty if I say so myself. So let's go ahead and get a proper gander of everything inside. Holy decals. Check that out. Hey, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's pretty damn sweet. Throw a little extra touch like that. And these stickers almost feel kind of silky. That's kind of a different feel than I'm used to. So, but besides that, we know there's something much better in here, and these are the speakers. So let's go ahead and get a gander of them. Oh boy, check it out. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that big of a booty on there, to be completely honest with you. Pretty damn cool, stamped steel basket. If you're ever wondering what the difference between stamped steel and cast aluminum, this is actually just made out of one piece of metal, like a little cookie cutter. You got some spade terminals right there on what looks to be a pressed paper cone. 1.5 inch voice coil and overall this is a nice little look to her as you can see we have got a nice coated cloth surround that'll be pretty good for putting them in the doors and direct sunlight that way it won't have any deterioration on you and one cool thing i like about the speaker is how the dust cap just barely covers the former so it gives you a little more cone to look at with the eye they actually look a little bit bigger than they really are they feel very well built the build quality is definitely up there rated at 120 watts i guarantee it'll eat up every little bit of that no problem and with a 97 db sensitivity rating these things are gonna be blaring i can't wait to install these things so let's Let's go ahead and move on to the next speaker. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out the Hannibal series speakers. Now I can say right now I have heard nothing but great things about these drivers and if you want more information about this, make sure you hit up Vladimir on Facebook. He's the North American sales representative and not only is he the person who contacted me to make all this possible, he's also the person you want to contact if you're interested in any of this stuff. So let's go ahead and get down and dirty. Just snatch this little guy right out here for us. Mm, mm, mm. Take a look at that neodymium magnet, which definitely stresses one of the biggest issues we're gonna have in this build, which is lack of space. We needed something very small and very powerful, and these Neo Mid 6s from Alfred are gonna do just the trick. Right out of the gate, I can tell this little guy means business. It has an aggressive looking black carbon fiber cap on a triple roll cloth surround. Overall, it just has that extreme pro audio feel to it, not to mention the fact that it has push terminals on a cast aluminum basket. Those little touches just make it feel all the much better. And getting up close and personal, both the glue and solder joints are very well done, neither too much or too little. She's rated at 110 watts, definitely utilizing that neodymium technology there. And with a sensitivity rating of 99 dB, these things are definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with. So stay on the lookout for these speakers. And if you wanna check out more, there'll be links in the description. All right, time to open the last package here, which are the tweeters, which is a pleasant surprise for me because I had no idea that they were coming. Uh, Car Audio has been really booming over in Russia, so it's awesome to see companies like Alfred Audio and people like Vladimir on board to really show us all this great stuff. So let's go ahead and... What? No way! Fuck yes! That is awesome! This thing has been through the ringer, my hat, right now. Look at this. I got a brand new one. Check it out. It's a little bit rounded on the top. I'll have to flatten the bill a little bit. Heck yeah, Alfred. Thank you guys so fucking much. Looks like you throw in some white t-shirts too. Oh, that is fucking great. Oh my god. I have so many of these, it's not even funny. I'm gonna pick like a few people from the comment section to send over some of these decals. If you want a decal, post that you want one. I will mail one right to your house. If you're in the United States, I'll chuck a stamp right on it for you. Check these out. These aren't even tweeters. They're not tweeters. Fuck. Look at this, guys. They said that there were tweeters on the outside. But look, what the frig is this? Some Neo mid-range 
some more speakers. Look at these things. Porsche terminals. Got some grills right there. Oh, hell yeah. These are very shallow mount. I think that these are the, the uh, very narrow shallow mount drivers that they have to offer. Check that out. Holy crap, I didn't even realize this was gonna be that. Oh my god. Isolated terminals right there with some added little uh, epoxy or type of glue coating. Perch terminals, cast basket, paper cone in a very, oh, a very light, very soft cap. Gotta love this. Definitely threw me for a loop right there, you tubulous. I thought I was getting tweeters. Now we have got some Neo 6s in this size and some in this size. Let's let's compare the differences really quick on camera. I don't want to get them too close. They'll get stuck together. But check that out, guys. Nice shallow mount option. If you want more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description. This is EXO signing out. Hey, actually, hey, let's not sign out just yet. Let's see if we can crank one of these out in my door panels and see if they fit. Right drop in replacement and see how they sound outside, huh? <laughs> all right, we've got our speakers rested on our batteries over there and we have got our door pods all prepped and ready to go. Damn school bus, so noisy. So let's get these plugged right in. Simple as pie. Can't wait to hear these things, man. This thing is just Swiss cheese. So we'll have to find a good place to bite in because we have just put many a speaker in there. All right, that'll have to do for now because I just don't have enough meat around the edges. We're gonna have to either redo these door pods completely or do some speaker rings and some painting. I had that same problem. If you remember, I had those little blue rings. That's what that was for. All right, let's do the second speaker here. Get her plugged right in. But damn, look at this little thing. It's like a work of art. Little flying UFO. We have got the speakers in and ready to test. Just a crude little fitment in here. If we can focus in on that side, we have got her in with four screws on each speaker. Just enough to get a video done for you guys. We're going to throw up some SoundCloud with D to the RJ. His music always sounds really good with some new speakers. And uh, we're going to see how these bad boys sound. <laughs> sounded freaking killer if you ask me. What really sucks is that I only have one volt of output coming from my cell phone. I don't have a head unit or anything, so it's not going to be nearly as loud uh, as it can be because I haven't gone back to my amplifier and retuned for a simple one volt cell phone output. But holy hell, I love those crisp highs coming out of there. You can totally hear it echoing right off the pavement. Both doors coming right out, working really well together. So fucking hell guys. Definitely a hats off to this. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the sound of it. Definitely loving the sound of it. So if you want to check out more stuff, there'll be links in the description to check out the Alfred Audio. Huge hats off to Alfred and uh, Vladimir over there for cooperating with this huge project that we're doing for the springtime in the SPL build in the trunk. 
So, until the next video, this is EXO, staying loud and having fun. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah.